So if you're a football fan like myself, this is a must have gadget for you. This is called the League Frame. This is a 7.5 inch electronic digital paper display that showcases all of your favorite league's data and statistics. And before I run in and show you how to set this up and what type of data it showcases, how you can cycle through some of your favorite leagues, this comes in at 199 pounds. It's only available in the UK, but I do have to mention that this is built, developed, designed, manufactured, and shipped just purely from the UK itself. Nothing is outsourced. so. It it is a nice small British business and if you are a big football fan and you follow teams like in the Premier League or even in the Championship, various different leagues, then this is going to be a great gadget for you to have around the house. But not only that, I also have a £50 discount code for all of you watching this. So you can get £50 off the retail price. Check it out in my description as well and make sure to check out the link to find out all of the specifications and if you want to go ahead and order one of these. This is a very nice little gadget. So before we dive in, let's go ahead and run through the design and how it looks, how it works, and then I'll showcase how you can set it up with any of the leagues that you follow. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's take a look at the design first. You can see it's a very simple, straightforward design. One of the key use cases of using this instead of your phone is that you don't have to go in and browse to a website to check out the latest tables or the next fixtures or anything like that. You can just see everything displayed in here in real time because it does fetch all of the real time data as matches and as scores are updating in the actual league. This is not a touchscreen display. You actually just have this as like a paper display. Kind of reminds me of the very early days of the Amazon Kindle when you had the type of little paper display that is kind of like a way to read books. But nonetheless, you see you have this nice little black, white, and red toned display here to show you three different statistics. So you have yourself the league table and the standings which show you how many games have been played, the points and the goal differences. And on the bottom left, you have yourself the results of all of the previous matches. And then you also have the fixtures of any upcoming matches and the dates and times that they are set. Now this is compatible with not just the English Premier League, but various different leagues, not just in the UK, but also around Europe. And I'll showcase which leagues are available at the time of this video. They may add more leagues in the future as well, but you do also have to set this up via connecting it to your Wi-Fi on your laptop. And it's very simple how to do that. But before we go into that, you'll see there's a little red button when you press this, this will update the screen and will cycle through your favorite set of leagues that you do set up in the whole Wi-Fi setup process. Now you do get a little eight digit setup code here that you have to input when you do set it up with your Wi-Fi settings. I'm just covering my one up just for security purposes, but you do have to enter this when you do go onto the browser when you connect this to your laptop. Now this comes with a little micro USB input, so you do connect it, and this does need to be powered at all times if you want to continually get real-time data. So it's better just to plug it in maybe to a wall outlet, or maybe just have it somewhere on the side as a plug extension, or if you wanted to just have it update when you do connect it to your laptop, then you can also use the cable that comes with it and just connect it however you like. The cable is pretty long, so you do have a lot of distance wherever you would like to set this up around the house. So let's go ahead and connect this to my laptop and I'll just run through some of the key setup guide. But you do get a quick start guide in the box as well, just to remind you of what you need to do. And if you ever want to update your favorite leagues or anything like that, then you just need to follow the same steps the next time you do it. Okay, so now I've plugged it in and I've connected it to my laptop. You can see it will flash for about 30 seconds. It's just starting up and it's going to fetch all of the data. But once I do have this up and running, ready to now go through the setup guide, all I need to do is connect my Wi-Fi to the League Frame Wi-Fi. So it will pop up in your Wi-Fi settings and the password is football. And then all you have to do is you'll get your own separate page and you have to put in the eight character code that's on the back of your League Frame that you order and then select all of your favorite leagues and settings that you'll like. And that will send it back to the League Frame and it'll be ready for you to use on wherever you'd like it around the house, wherever it's on your desk, your bedside table, or wherever you'd just like to keep it to see all of your latest football information. So I'm gonna wait for this to finish loading, and then I'll just quickly show you my screen share of how to set it up. Okay, so now it's ready. Let's go ahead and show you how to set it up. The first thing you would have to do is to create an account from the leagueframe.com website. You can go and hit the setup button at the top. This will basically allow you to connect this to your Wi-Fi settings. And one thing to mention, this is only compatible with 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So if your router is on a five gigahertz Wi-Fi bandwidth, then this may not work in that situation. You may need to switch it over to 2.4, but nonetheless, most people will already have that. Once you do that and you've put in your Wi-Fi 
name and password, it will automatically be used by the league frame to update all of your data in real time. Once you've then done that, you'll go over into the setup process and there is a URL on the quick start guide as well to access this. This is where you can add your league frame and select which leagues you want as your favorites. So here you can give yourself a frame name and once you've done that, you can set the time zone for it. And then the refresh intervals, you can change this between five minutes, 15 minutes and 60 minutes. I think if you're probably just gonna be using this to track one or two teams and seeing all the discords and fixtures, they play every couple of days. You probably don't need to have this refresh every five minutes. So 60 minutes I think is more than enough. So that's an option that I would select. And this is where you'd be able to select all of your favorite leagues and you can select up to three. So when you press the red button on the back of this, this will cycle through all of those three leagues. I've got my English Premier League as my favorite one as League One. If I just drop that down, now all of the four main English leagues are covered in this and there's various other popular European leagues in there. And across the English and European leagues, you may find that there's one or two that you do like to follow that may not be in the list. Champions League, for example, one of them, that is not currently on there. If that does get added in the near future, that will automatically be sent to your league frame as an option to select. And one thing that I like about this company is that they take a lot of user feedback and add it to their backlogs. So if there is a specific feature or functionality that you would like to have and see on the league frame, then you can always send that feedback to them and they will consider it. Maybe they will implement it in the near future and that could include adding more leagues. So that's something to just to keep an eye on. But for now, these are the leagues that are available for you to select. So from those, you can select your top three. And then it does mention at the bottom there in the last bullet point, once you do press the red button to cycle through each of the leagues, just remember it's not an instant replacement of all of the data on the league frame. It will take about one to two minutes and you'll see it start flashing as it is pulling in all of the data of the next league. But you can also double press to skip a league and then go to the one after the next one that you've selected in these settings. So it's very straightforward and very simple to set up. Once you have that set up and you've got everything the way you like it, then you can just have this plugged in in more of like a permanent location around the home and then just keep track of all of your favorite data and football information for all of your favorite teams. So what more is there to say? This is a very nicely designed gadget and it's ready for shipping very quickly. If you are in the UK and you are a football fan, check it out, leagueframe.com. Keep track of all of your favorite football teams, scores, fixtures, and league rankings. And let me know if you have any other questions or comments about the capabilities of this, or if you're having any issues setting this up. They are a British owned business as well, and they are very good at customer service. So if you have any issues whatsoever, you can contact them and they will get back to you very quickly and try to help resolve your problems as soon as they can. If you did like this review, you do like the look of this gadget, make sure to subscribe. I've got tons of really cool gadget videos out every week. Make sure to like this video and I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.